This composite image is where I use several colour grading techniques to get the depth and tone of colour. And one of them was the cyan photo filter. Let me show you how I use the photo filter in my workflow. To access the photo filter, I'll go up to where my adjustments are and I'll click on photo filter. By default, it comes into warming filter. I'm going to expand that view and you'll see that there's a number of filters in here. Let's choose the cyan. And the reason that I'm choosing the cyan is to give a little bit more depth in the blue tones. I'll click on cyan and you can see that the tonal range has shifted. For example, if I'm working with an image that I feel has got a lot of warm tones, I will use this technique using cyan to get a little bit of a shift of blue in the colour and that's how I get my depth of colours. Let's go back and choose another filter and let's have a look at what we can achieve. If I want a little bit more of a vintage tone or a little bit more warm in my colour tones, I'll choose sepia. Again, I've got that blue shift coming through, but now it's got those warm tones. I can change the density here. I can really increase that if I wanted a lot more, or I can dial that down. Let's have a look what else is in the filter menu. I'll extend that view and I can see that there's a number of colours, red, orange, yellow, green, and you will get different colour overlays depending on your image. I use this in my landscape photography days and now I'm using it in my digital art. Let's say that I want something a little bit different deep emerald. I'll click on that and let's see what it's done. Now when you look at this green you'll think my goodness that's not a green I would choose but again it gives a different colour depth. I'll go back and choose another one. Let's have a look at yellow tones and now I'm getting the warm colours coming through with that hint of blue underneath. I'll go back and choose another colour and it could be something like deep blue or deep red. Let's go with deep red and see what that does. Now it's totally changed. When I look at this image, I think I've lost those blue tones and I'm not happy with that. So let's go back and change it to another color and have a look. Let's go magenta. And so it's shifted the colors again. But what it's also done is put a magenta colour over the girl's skin and I don't want that. And why I like using these adjustment layers is there's a mask attached to it. I'll click on the mask, I'll get my brush, I'll make sure my opacity is roughly around 100% or I can dial that down. But what I'm going to do is make sure that my foreground is a black in colour because I want to mask away that magenta colour off her face. And now I'm just brushing that magenta off her and the dress, for example. Let's change that and see what else that we can do. If I'm not happy with magenta, let's go back and look at violet and see what that does. Using the photo filter, you will find your favourite for me, it is about using cyan or sepia, but sometimes I'll change it a little bit and add in underwater to deepen the blue. But there's another little nifty trick that I'll share with you, and that's about preserving your luminosity. Usually what I do is make sure that's ticked. So when you apply the colour, it keeps your luminosity balance or the overall brightness in your image. I'll turn that off and on. Again, you can change this depending on what your colour vision is for your image. But using photo filters just gives a different depth of colour. It's fun and one of my go-to tools and hope it's one of yours soon. Have fun being creative.